Hey guys, it's Andres again. So it's been a long time and it's time for an update video on everything that we're doing around the property. So I wanted to start where most of you know, this is our first glam side unit. We've been open now for a bit over a month and a half. It is going awesome. It's been a great time. It's pretty much been fully booked except for maybe two days. Uh, both of those days were actual cancellations. So we were definitely 100% booked. Uh, the reviews, five stars every time so far so we're having a good time Chelsea is doing cleaning right now we had just guests check out it is so cold today uh, I was 30 degrees everything was frozen this morning uh, but anyways I'm gonna take today to give you an update of everything we got going on we got so many projects so let's go check out the glam site really quick see what Chelsea is doing and then we'll keep walking and I can give you an idea of what the entire project is we're hoping you know in a year from now to have this fully finished with a lot more units and the guests can access the entire property and take care and take advantage of all the amenities we have so let's go take a look so here you can see still some ice on top of the grass here in the shade but um, the guests are the guests haven't complained yet about anything of the cold so i think the inside of the unit is nice and warm uh, just the outside when it's rainy uh, it's not really uh, it's not really an option to use the, the fireplace in the rain. But the sauna has been getting a lot of use. The outdoor shower seems to be working out well with people even when it's 28 degrees, 30 degrees at night. And so, here we go. It's cleaning time. Hello. How is it? Pretty dirty or pretty clean? Pretty clean. Okay, that's good. It was only a one night stay. So, so people have been really nice. Yeah, I think we, for the most part, we've been, they've been really clean. Yes. Yeah. Can I come out? The cleaning has been actually really good. Um, we have been improving. Well, I should say I have been improving since I'm the head cleaner on duty. The cleaning has been awesome. Like, yeah. We haven't had any complaints about cleaning. And I've done a little bit of cleaning and uh, I didn't do very well. I, didn't, not, uh -huh. I did not pass the test. He definitely didn't pass the test. I took photos for evidence of like, <laughs> oh, did you think this is really clean? Here's like multiple things that you missed. Like for example, the Keurig splashes and there was splash, like coffee splashes all over the back of the machine and the fridge that you didn't see. And then I'm kind of weird, I guess. And I check all the dishes and everything and the wine glasses were really dirty and you didn't notice she that. pretty much deep cleans uh, this unit every single time like she goes through all the baskets all the silverware yep. all the plates uh, looking for bugs or looking for dirt yeah spiders hair. yeah everything so yeah so it has been spotless every time which is and good i think our I guests mean, are appreciating i don't I do everything as thorough as i can so i'm not going to just like not check something because it's faster and easier for me not to um, Cause then what if the guests find a dirty dish or they find like someone's just like a little bit of hair or something, then you yeah. immediately think it's not clean. And then it kind of like tarnishes your whole experience. So yeah. I yeah, and really super thorough. Cleaning has been great. And just from a host point of view, everybody has been really, really amazed yeah. with how Chelsea treats them. She goes all the way with getting balloons for their anniversary, their birthday special treats chocolates whatever it may be so people have been all over the the comments we get really really good comments that chelsea it's an awesome host Thanks. so i never knew i married such a good host <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. okay so now it's time to show you a little bit more about the property so i'm here in the back side of the first glam site behind me right there behind the wooden fence it's our own house and then the giant barn it's all over, it's over there by by the street so the barn has been going through a transformation from an actual barn that had horses and goats and hay and snakes and everything to an actual clubhouse that is very clean. It's kind of like an outdoor living room. So I'll show you that, but actually during the day it's cool, but during the nighttime, it's amazing. It, people think it's a wedding venue or something. So we're really proud of how the barn has come along. We added a lot of lighting. We put a lot of uh, rock, a lot of furniture, fire pit, barbecue. So we're really happy about the barn. Now, the other units we got going on right now, it's two more sheds. Uh, they're pretty much twin sheds or exactly the same. We're building them the same at the same time. So those are our glam sites number two and three. 
We're hoping to open those by Christmas. And the other part is the entire property has been cleaned up pretty much. We have one more acre that we haven't got to yet. But basically this entire area right next to the creek uh, was very tall with weeds and trees and grass. So we decided to start maintaining that now that we have the other two sheds. It's been a lot of work, but it looks awesome. The property looks so much bigger and it's weird now. All the leaves have fallen. I mean, yesterday we had a pretty windstorm, so a lot of the leaves just fell. But before this was beautiful yellow and red. So I wish I would have taken a video at that point. It would have been a lot cooler. Right now it looks a little more sad and winter, but we're very happy with how the property is coming along. So let's walk over to the sheds and I'll, I'll show you how they're looking. Okay, here's clamp site number two. That's clamp site number three down there. Sorry for the lighting. I just want to show the outside. So the outdoor of this unit is going to be a lot more simple because we now have the barn that's going to provide all the amenities. So we're just trying to do a small patio for privacy still. They still have a small fire pit. They will still have an outdoor shower with an outdoor bathtub, but they're not going to be nearly as big as that first glam site, which was 500 square foot patio with every single amenity, including the sauna. So we're going for a little more simple on the outside, but the inside we're still trying to keep that luxury and that finished look. Not too rustic, but somewhere in between. So right here where that bathtub is, is where the shower is going to be. So we're going to add a lot of privacy wall and a door and some roofing and curtains and all that stuff. Now over there in the middle of the gravel is going to be a couple chairs with a little fire pit. And then around the other side is the front door. This shed is exactly the same size as the other shed. It's a 10 foot width, 16 feet length. But instead of having the door on the long side, we have the door over here on the short side. So that allows us to play with the floor plan a little bit different. The big difference as well is instead of having lofts on opposite sides, we only have one big loft on one side. So right here, basically, it's your living room area with a couch, some type of coffee table, the TV. We added a massive glass window that is going to be able to open. Right here we have our steps with a ladder to access the roof. We're going to have a queen bed up there. And then the small couch right here is going to turn into a bed for pretty much kids only. Now right here I'm working on the kitchen wall this morning. So basically all of that area is going to be kitchen, fridge, coffee station. And then along the window we're going to have a bar or a tabletop. So you can enjoy the view while you eat or you're working your laptop, whatever you need to do. And the bathroom, very, very similar size as the last clamp site. Uh, we decided to tuck it in back here in the corner. A pretty big difference between this shed and the one we did before. We have fully insulated this shed, which is making a massive difference. Already with sound alone, I can tell it's insane the amount of insulation that we put in here. So I'm very, very happy with that. It's going to help a lot with the cooling and the heating and just the comfort of this shed. So that's something we've learned over time now. As we continue to do this, we're gonna get better and better. So I don't think we'll ever build another shed without insulation. So let's go check out glamp inside number three. As I said, it's pretty much the same. Okay, so we put them about 80 feet away from each other. Uh, we hope that that's enough distance to give the people privacy. Same exact setup right here. That's the bathtub, the, the window, and the front door. It's over here on the short side. This insulation here is for the floor. I haven't done the floor from underneath yet. That's never the fun part. But here you can see kitchen walls already ready. It's already done. Now next would be to finish out the electrical work. But exact same floor plan. Insulation all around. Very similar view. And this are gonna be able to open. I gotta add some shocks so that it's easy to open this glass. Okay, now let's go check out the barn. Okay, so the barn it's about 130 feet away from the from the glamp sites. Now it's hard 
since you haven't seen the, the barn before in detail, I'm gonna try to find some footage and insert it now so you can see it before and after. So today we're cleaning the barn a little bit more. We know we're not gonna do anything in the near future. We, we don't know what to do with the barn yet. So today we're piling up all these logs that are in the barn, outside, and then we wanna just keep cleaning everything. We're gonna have to burn that pile of hay, but there's also a beehive. Uh, that is still our storage. So this barn could eventually be a clubhouse or eventually it could host events. We weren't planning to film this part. See, I know he's making me scale logs while he's like pulling me and carrying this giant log and I get super pissed. I'm gonna break my ankle. And then he made me chop a hay thing and he was like testing me to see like, oh, good luck, see if there's some snakes in that pile of hay. No, I just, I, we know there's a black snake that lives in the barn supposedly. We don't know if it's here still. Not a lot of girls would uh, want to come in this barn that's so dirty and dusty and potential snake and mice. So... And beehive in the hay. Yeah, now there's a beehive also <laughs> in the middle of the hay that we pissed them off pretty good. <sighs> so... I can't even talk. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> yeah, it's just part of the process. Someday this will be a memory, just like we uh, have other memories. Like I was just telling Chelsea at condo a long time ago that we flipped. That place was disgusting. It had pink marble everywhere. It just felt dirty. But uh, it turned out we flipped it. We lived there for a long time. Then we rented it for a long time and then we made over a hundred thousand dollars when we sold it so it's a good memory now in a way but the process was a lot of work um a lot of getting mad at each other <laughs> just like right now <laughs> <laughs> Follow me along with imagination here. There's gonna be a really cool fire pit with some really nice chairs. Then right here we have our bar area with a barbecue, kind of an outdoor kitchen setup. That's like a little small formal living room of some sort. We're gonna put that, uh, we're gonna put a little board games here. Here we have our dining table. Here we got some benches. Uh, we're trying to find a jacuzzi. We think a hot tub would be awesome right here. A very large hot tub for this area. Uh, we've been playing around with uh, stocking some firewood and then just doing some feature walls. Uh, we found this awesome fireplace. We're gonna build a large masonry square and then set this fireplace on top. And it's a 360 degree view, so it is a very, very cool fireplace. Uh, right there we have a, another feature wall trying to create some privacy. We picked up some Adirondack chairs from a local, um, from a local uh, carpenter. Very cool work. We picked up some other things from him as well. Uh, so right here, we're gonna try to set up a few more chairs and couches to enjoy the fire pit. And finally, right here, we're trying to find either a pool table or something, something for people to be entertained. But I'll have to come back tonight take some more footage because once all these lights are on this space it's awesome and obviously it's extremely messy right now there's a lot of tools and materials on the way but we're hoping that once we clean this up people will book the place just because of this clubhouse alone in the winter or the summer I think this would be a really cool place to hang out we do have a idea of a TV and now people hate on TVs like crazy when you go glamping but hey if you don't like TV just don't turn it on but it will be there if you want it I forgot to ask I need advice would you use a sauna in the barn like a community type sauna maybe like fit six people you would be doing using it by yourself but maybe somebody else could come in 
I don't know, is it weird? We're like, we've been going back and forth with Chelsea if we had a sauna or not in that little storage uh, room, like on a wood room. So I have what I need to build it. I would like to build it, but I think it may be a waste of time. So we would really, really appreciate your feedback. Let us know. Here's the barn with all the lights on. We think this is the best look of the barn. And we think this is when most people would use the barn after they come back from doing their hiking, wildwater rafting, and they get to hang out in the barn. We had a fire earlier going on, so we're still a little bit... So it warm. is very cold, yeah. <laughs> it's like already 36 or something. So here's all the lighting. We have some up lighting as well as just the string lights all over the place. go on the other side and see how it looks from the field facing this way. There you can see, you can see glamping one. Yeah, Chelsea left the lights on because they yes. said the guests were coming in late tonight. Yeah. So uh, Chelsea always leaves the light on. Uh, even though there's lights around the front, uh, she goes ahead and turns on the patio lights. Oh, it's really dark. <laughs> there it is. I think that looks awesome. And look at the moon. Oh, we even have a full moon tonight. But this is the coolest part about this barn. That's a hundred year old wood. And this side is facing north. So it has all this growth which looks amazing. I don't know if the camera can capture that, but that green, it's a very, very strong color and it looks so good against the gray weathered wood. This is part of all the lighting that we've added for the outside at night. So still quite a bit of work to do, but it has come a long ways. Now let's go to the front of the property. I don't think we've ever really showed the front of the property from this side since we have two driveways. So that building, it's another shed, but that one, it's actually our new laundry room. We realized the Airbnb business, it's half being a hotel and half being a laundry room. So we decided to buy a building and dedicate it for laundry room purposes. Okay, so here's the building. Again, we have a lot of decorations here, a lot of furniture. But the idea is to install two washers on this side and two large commercial dryers on this side. They're going to be propane since they require way too much power. And as you can see, we finished the walls. We did insulate this building as well because we are going to put air conditioner in here. But we actually found this uh, paint drop cloths from the hardware store and we decided to stretch them and use it as a finished product for the walls and i'm actually pretty happy about it and i think it kind of gives you that glamping type of feel so we are going to finish some of the walls in the glamp sites number two and three with this same material and this same technique kind of using this little pieces of wood to stretch the fabric and then the insulation is back there so here's the view from the front of the barn and again that's our house so the idea, uh, to get a little bit more into the logistics and a little more nerdy now, how we plan to execute everything, we are going to add a gate at this driveway. The driveway up there on top of the hill is going to stay as a dedicated driveway for the first glam site because we are going to try to market that glam site as the VIP <laughs> glam site since it has everything you could ask for. So right here we're going to add a gate and we're going to use this area as the parking for glam sites two and three and whatever else we build in the future. So basically you park your car right here and you immediately walk through what we call the front lobby, which is gonna be the barn. And that driveway right there is gonna be our dedicated parking area. And to get a little bit more into the logistics, we've had to upgrade the property quite a bit to be able to keep building. So right here is the new 20 foot electrical pole that we just installed. We have two 200 amp panels in there, which is gonna give us a lot of power to supply anything we need, including 
hot tubs, glam sites, barn, uh, RVs, you really there's a lot of power in there. So I'm waiting for inspection right now and we can call the utility company and actually get connection. As far as water goes, our pump house is right there. So we are going to have to dig a lot of trenches around the field to run water all the way to the sheds, run electrical. I am also looking to upgrade our propane tank because we need more propane to actually use for the heaters as well as for the dryers in the laundry room. So I am waiting to hear back from the propane company. Unfortunately, right now that it's getting cold, it's a horrible time to get in touch with the propane company. They're so, so busy. So unfortunately, that's pushing our schedule a little bit. And finally, we have to talk about septic. Our original septic tank is located over there, which we have our house connected and the glam site number one. Now, glam sites two and three are gonna be using a brand new septic tank. And I'm also fighting through that a little bit because they came and tested the soil the first time and they didn't like it too much. So they came a second time and they said that that soil there wasn't as good, but the soil here is better. So we are probably looking to install a three bedroom septic tank somewhere in this area. I am hoping that they can give me a four unit or a four bedroom septic tank. So that's all on hold. And unfortunately with Thanksgiving coming up, I am probably not gonna hear back from them for a while. And a new addition, a very cool tool that I bought. It's a riding lawnmower and it's so much fun. I finally feel like I'm actually belong in East Tennessee because I have a riding lawnmower. Well, that is it for this update video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any ideas, we would love to hear in the comments from you. And yeah, we're trying to open this by Christmas with the barn, the laundry room, the two sheds. So there's a lot of work to do. Right now I'm gonna go add some firewood to glamping number one and keep going on glamping number two so we can get closer to the finish. We are Andres and Chelsea. We uprooted our lives from Arizona to Eastern Tennessee. We sold our long-term rentals and are putting everything on the line to start our dream glamping business. Join us each week as our family navigates this big new adventure and we share everything we learn so you can also build a successful glamping business.